In this video, I'm going to quickly go over how to graph and customize labels in Google Sheets. We'll talk about how you can use equations in the spreadsheet to auto-complete some math, as well as graph non-adjacent columns, create a scatter chart, and customize your graph, including your axes labels, your chart title, adding a trend line, and the equation for the trend line. So on this page, I have a set of sample data. Uh, we got rounds zero through seven. We have 10 different groups with their data. So the first thing I want to talk about is a little bit of math. Let's say, for example, I wanted the average of all of those columns. So the way you tell a spreadsheet to do some math is you start with the cell you want it to do the math in, and you press the equal sign. That's telling the computer, hey, I know you're going to want to do some math. So I want to take the average. So I just start typing the word average, and then I open parentheses, and I click and drag the data that I want to take an average of. You can see I'm stopping at round zero because that's not part of the data, that's just uh, over time. So close parentheses and then enter. And you can see it gives me an average of 20. Probably didn't need a calculator or a computer to tell me that the average of a bunch of 20s is 20, but that's what it is. So now you could go into every other cell and start doing the same thing, typing the average, clicking and dragging, closing parentheses and enter. But what you can also do is you click on the cell that you just had the equation in. You can see the equation up here. And then what you do is on the bottom right of that cell, there's a little box, a little square. Click on that and drag it. And it will apply the same pattern of math to the cells you drag it to. Another way that you can do that is you can just double click on that little square and the computer knows where the data stops, so it stops where the data ends. So if I needed to do some more math, and say I, for this one I need to take the natural log of the average, I can do the same thing. I can type in equal, and then start typing in the math I want it to do, ln for the natural log. And for this purpose, I want to take the natural log of the average. Close parentheses and enter, same pattern. Click back on it, double click the square, there we go. So now, something that you might have to do when you get to spreadsheets like this is I need to graph the round and I need to graph this data for the natural log. But the issue is they're not next to each other. So what you can do is you select one of them and then you hold down control when you click on the next column and you drag while holding down control. And now I've selected two columns that aren't right next to each other. So now to insert a graph, you just go to insert chart and for the purpose of this one i'm looking to insert i got to change the chart type to be a scatter so i'm going to scroll down to a scatter graph and there is my data graphed right there so now customizing so i can go to customize and i have all of these options here the big ones typically tend to be the chart title so ln of average versus round that's actually what i want it to be you can select from the drop down to chart subtitle. Uh, if you wanted to, you can add a subtitle to it and it'll show up in the graph as well. I can go to horizontal axis. The horizontal axis is the round for this example and the vertical axis is the outline of the average. So everything's filled out there for me, which is nice. Series, when you go to series, uh, what you can customize what the dots look like. You can change the color and do whatever you want. But what you might have to do is add a trend line. When you're doing scatter graphs, it's important to try to find what the pattern is. So I can add a trend line, and that is my line of best fit for that data. Another thing you might have to do is, well, I want to know the equation of that line. So we have linear. That's what I want. You can change the color and the opacity, but the label. You're going to want to change that to use equation, and you can see right here is the equation for that line. The y equals mx plus b right there. That's the equation for that line. So you can have show the R squared value so you get an idea of how well that best fit line represents the data uh, by clicking on that. You can also add a legend if you needed to. If you have multiple points of data, that might be helpful. But, you know, I hope you found that helpful. All right. Okay, bye.